what happened in that stream was f***ed up. It, it, it was beyond f***ed up. And Destiny's just f***ing eating, not doing, not saying f*** all. Not just content. And I thought that Destiny... I thought Destiny cared. It was like the most non-committal like, series of statements I've ever heard in my entire life. I okay. Really I mean, out. honestly... <laughs> as well as this idea of normalizing like, what does normalize mean um because you know i think and obviously me and mr girl were going to do the stream originally just him and i so we've spoken about this too um but i i think that one thing that i struggle with is people talk a lot about platforming and you know the harm and one thing I sometimes fail to see is what harm do you mean? And people will point to things like, oh, there's been an uprising in far right terror or like some other thing. Let and I'm I like, okay, so she can beat up Daria. even if we accept that's true, like, how are you linking this back to this platforming that we're seeing? Yeah, you know? I, don't, I don't believe that is ever a thing. <laughs> I, 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 I don't believe like any, anything that we do on Twitter and YouTube and Twitch. I don't, I don't believe anything is... Could could even be big enough to be considered "quote unquote" platforming? Like I don't know. Because I remember, like, there was genuine concern about like Richard Spencer going on CNN because that's like a mainstream news, lots of viewers. I mean, there, I would say that's a better argument. I I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't necessarily agree with it. Right? But like, if Richard Spencer is going on CNN, okay, CNN is like gets so many views like it gives some credibility like um and like there i would say okay you need to have like some pushback or like depends on like like people have to know who richard spencer is there i'd be, be like or have to be told like what kind of person is this this isn't somebody you should necessarily follow um stuff like that i think there's more responsibility but like fucking i don't know twitch and youtube and like i i just i don't see it i know i've just put Iku in as well but i just want to say hey. one funny thing is that um, I think there's an issue of like the boy who cried wolf as well. And I think we constantly hear arguments about we've got to deplatform this person, got to deplatform that person. The people are a bit desensitized to it now. And, and you know, there could genuinely be a situation where someone is super dangerous, like the second coming of Hitler. Maybe that is Nick Frentes, who knows? Um, but like, I mean, we're gonna, it's going to fall Destiny, on deaf ears. Destiny literally, like on his Twitter. Question like first, Dario, did you, did, okay, or either of you. Did you watch um, the hour-ish long lunch and ice cream stream? No, I, I said I didn't. Okay, like I, that was like the most recent thing, right? I do not want to hear fuck all about the debate part because that, what happened in that stream was fucked up. It, it, it was beyond Nazism. fucked up. Huh? Did, did Nazism happen? <laughs> Listen. I got okay. to know. I'm not asking. Like, I didn't watch. I'm, I'm not asking. a big. Okay. I will. I'll. I'll send you. Uh, I'll send you the link. Okay. So you can watch off stream or whatever or on YouTube. I don't know. Um. So what happened is, uh, I what I didn't watch the prior debate. I'm not a um. You know, I defended Stardust a lot with uh, the Richard Spencer thing because I think that. She got so much valuable information about like what he's presently doing. Um, like Richard Spencer has a new movement called Apolloism. Um, that's like a new mythos of, you know, build for generation, Welcome like for generation. future descendants so that we can have a pan-European, uh, fully rearmed so uh, uh, white nation or whatever, like that's accept his or like the continent. So that's Richard Spencer. He went through his whole game plan and and yeah, I thought that it was very valuable. So Yeah, I don't know anything about like I'm, Right. I I'm not really terminally online anymore. So I don't I don't follow all these people. Well, these people exist in real life too. So yeah. I mean Richard's I a lot of people have problems with that. And I um very, very much push back on uh people who are trying to give her a hard time and make her life and her work harder you know so with uh with the destiny thing um you know debating at his house whatever um so th but when i saw uh you know him and uh melina and nick went and got uh lunch outdoors and they had some 
you know, we're not they. Uh, wait, I can. Is it true they had chicken and wing. waffles? I'm yes, interested to know what was they the did. reason for choosing chicken and waffles. Hmm, oh, I, I saw. I saw. Wait, wait. I, I saw. I saw a clip of that. Okay. I don't care chicken about or, the chicken, chicken and waffles. waffles. Is so bad. It's actually I've I've had it once. Dario, is that like an American thing? Like like why well, do people eat that? Well, I, Dario. Well, okay. Go on, Ike. Sorry. Okay, so what happened is, um, a hand, uh, I can't remember if it was like two or three uh, people over the course of this hour, um, independently came up to them saying that they were fans of both of them. Uh, I think the first person that I saw ended up sitting down at the table with them and saying, you know, they agree a lot with Nick Fuentes about the stuff, but like he's uh, actually a Jew and that he wants him to know that there are some base Jews that are on uh, his side with other things. And, and Nick Fuentes is like, oh, well, I mean, I don't really hate anyone, you know? There are some okay, like, people there. And Destiny's just fucking eating, not doing, not saying fuck all, just not. And then it continues on, the dude goes away, you know? Oh, before that, there was, like, a passing guy that, like, waved and uh, Nick Fuentes asked if he was, just, he called out, if are you Jewish by any chance? And Destiny just, like, laughs it off. And um, as, it, as the lunch progresses, a couple times, Nick Fuentes brings up Jews again, and Destiny kind of, uh, uh, like, just wants to eat or whatever. He's like, like, that's your culture war to fight, okay? He said that more than once. And that is, like, the most Nick Fuentes, that is, like, rebranding, letting Nick Fuentes rebrand himself as not hating Jews that much is in it's disgusting there are so many people who don't even know who nick fuentes is like who are uh you know younger millennials or zoomers um or just haven't been political during that time and don't know about not just january 6th but also charlottesville like this is there's a difference between like like people who have spicy takes or people who like are weird like mr girl okay, okay okay can i but not just is, that is there, and then they there... went and got ice cream sure, and they were of... just hanging out and uh everyone in chat are like uh oh oh also uh, another thing nick kept asking like oh what's chat saying and uh for the most part chat was like pretty pretty all right with it but also um nick said oh you like probably got a lot of shit uh, about you know the debate the prior day or whatever day that was and and uh Justine, uh ch ch chalked it up to like something like how dumb fuck lefties who are mad that i don't give them content anymore and blah blah, blah and that's what dismissed okay. that okay okay I'm, okay continue i is is every is anybody here not aware of like what kind of person Nick Fuentes is. Like I understand there might be like maybe maybe point one percent or like maybe. Are you fucking serious? But like anybody. Well, wait, anybody, let the who finish. I, sorry, I, I'm sorry. Come on, like he just spoke for like ten minutes. Listen. <laughs> no, don't speak I'm... again. Let Dario speak. Come on, okay, Dario, go. go. Stop okay. posturing and go. Is my is okay. my audio bad? Wait, is my audio bad? Wait, can you oh, hear for me? For fuck's sake, yes, just speak. I'll turn you up or something. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First off, right? Like I, like I understand, but like is, I, I feel like the people who don't know what kind of person Nick Fuentes is, is is like such a minute amount of people. And even Destiny, like on his Twitter, he says that Nick Fuentes is basically like a neo-Nazi. I like that. That's what he says on his Twitter. Like when he interacts with him, he says like Nick Fuentes is somebody who's basically a neo-Nazi. Right? That's what he says. Right? So I don't believe like basically. <laughs> Sorry. Wait. I'm gonna mute myself so I don't. They do. Okay. Well, if you got a, like a, inter a reasonable interjection, that's fine. But like, yeah. Yeah. Um. I. I don't really look at Twitter. Um. A lot of what Destiny says on Twitter and what people say on Twitter in general is uh, a mess. But. Fuck like, Twitter. I am don't... I right? Yeah. I, I just, mean, uh, it, sure, it just seems like people just... don't end up. But I want to be clear. 
I it's not about dust. I don't care uh, who it is. Like, I don't have a, a hatred of destiny. I was hopeful that you would like start, you know, when he said that he would rather be attacking Tucker Carlson and people like that versus like, I don't know, dumb fuck lefties like Keffels. Um, that I was excited for that arc. I did not, I did not see this coming. So I, I just want everyone to know that. I mean, you don't have to believe me, but this, I don't give a fuck about destiny. It's not personal. It's, it's the actual, like, if this doesn't matter, if you didn't save all these people from the alt-right who are susceptible and are very trusting of him um, to like be guided in the right direction, if they think that he, that like Nick Fuentes is like not as bad, even if they already knew before, like, sure, sure, I, but I, okay, and I and I just to be clear, right? I I gotta go in like five minutes to play D and D. Okay, so I just like I just want to like the last point I just want to bring up is like, and like you, you might believe this, right? But do you honestly believe that? <laughs> and I didn't watch the stream. Maybe this is like the worst stream ever. But like, do you honestly believe that people? going into that stream with the content Welcome from Nick Fuentes and Destiny debating Stylo for like weeks and then them going out and having an ice cream. That's that's changing anybody's views on like who Nick Fuentes is because of the ice cream. Like I, I feel like I I, I, I just Okay. I yeah, I don't yeah. So I, I, um yeah, I it was stretch. it's it's like a slow so like there were a lot of people who thought Trump could never get elected, but I mean, it. I think we clearly have become desensitized over time to spectacle, and uh, like Nick Fuentes isn't changing, but people think that he has because you know they trust they trust destiny, and if he's not pushing back on every time, and if he calls his, you know, his uh problem, you know, if he calls his JQ stuff his culture war to fight like oh no that's your culture war to fight let's just like not talk about that right now despite the fact that they're third parties that are strangers um that are co coming up as fans um someone brought their project veritas hat for them to sign that was also strange but doesn't really matter um, so what's what's going on? Yeah. What, what's the so, what's the key point? Can you summarize key, like in okay, a sentence? The what's key the key point, point here? Okay. The key point is that Destiny is not pushing back, like out and about. Like he's having like a uh like maybe he won't call him a friend, but he also has not been doing his due diligence for shit. Like he was uh, wrong to Lauren Southern's face about her and the boat stuff. He said the the thing that everyone says about the flares that isn't true, but the truth is actually worse. Like there, and it's honestly, I didn't realize how many people don't know who Nick Fuentes is because they're just younger. They weren't politically engaged or watch the news and stuff. Like it's just, that's, I mean, I, I don't know. If you don't think that, that matters then like i guess nothing has an impact ever and that i guess destiny and vosh and whoever else like does this stuff it doesn't matter nothing that they did has saved anyone or affected anyone in any way the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because my grandmother recently died and now, like, both my grandparents are gone. So seeing, like, this rewriting of uh, of Nick Fuentes and his history and his passionate hate for, for Jews, you know? Like, like, my grandfather was, like, a prisoner of war in Germany. And he, Jesus. like, passed. Uh, he passed for, like, you know, not being Jewish and no one tattled on him. So he got back. And then we treated him like shit here too with the military which i won't get into but this is why i care okay it's meaningful it's not just content and i thought the destiny i thought destiny cared ab about like at least not 
I just, I didn't, I just didn't expect it. And I don't care that it's destiny. It's just that someone has brought Nick Fuentes and is bringing, bringing him back into the spaces, introducing him to Sneeko and all of the, 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 uh, the, the, Im the lost young men that are looking for someone that some of them go to Richard Spencer. Some of them uh, go to Destiny or Vosh or Son or whatever. Some of them go to Andrew Tate, and some of them go to Nick Fuentes, and and that um, I find that very concerning, and I think we should at least pay attention to it. I'm not saying what Destiny can do or what he should do. I think people should do whatever they they choose to do. Um, but I just want us to like say what it is and not try to like dismiss it based on our analysis of what what we think the trajectory is that wasn't a thing that was happening before but now it is now people are seeing them be side by side and in a friendly manner and him let letting uh nick say that he doesn't really like he's not doesn't really hate jews he's just you know there are some ones that are okay like this this is this is how uh this is how shit happens. It gets normalized over time. He seems time. safe. And he's being made to look safe. So look what like I'd say is like I, I you okay. know I'm very sympathetic to, to what you're saying and I understand where you're coming from. I guess my concern would be if you have so, you clearly you've got a very close like emotional attachment to to this and that's fine. But do you not worry that maybe clouds your judgment when you're looking at this issue? Um when I if if I had if I had some kind of like uh, hatred towards destiny, then yeah, but I don't. I really don't. I was just taken aback by that, but like, it's the the impact, the things that I see. Like now, there are more pathways than like you know. Maybe destiny. Maybe not a single one of destiny's audience will buy it, but Sneeko fucking loves this dude i guess and they like talk and make content and sneeko has like a susceptible audience and some of them actually will be down for that so uh well that's the, one of the, the things it's yeah. one of the things sneeko said is that he's already a long-term fan of nick so i don't think anything is changing care. there but i do yeah i do I, understand I what you're saying what you're about saying the right normalizing now. okay well listen i think like I, I am, you know, I was uncomfortable to be perfectly blunt. Yeah, I looked at it, I was like, this is a bit fucking weird. Like what's going on here? And I think that it's okay to have like an immediate response or whatever. I guess that for me, it's just more so about taking a step back and thinking, well, is there more going on here? And the thing is, is there's some details that people say that I'm really not sure on. And like, right. you know, you the Sneeko, the Sneeko Nick Fuentes connection. I'm like, I'm not sure how that happened because people say okay. it's because of destiny and i, I don't know either you're way right, I don't know. you're right you're right i'm sorry i shouldn't have brought in these other factors and focused on strictly if you would just watch that video um just watch their out just watch their outing and um and i'd like to know what you think and whatever you think is fine i just uh okay. i would like i would like to see your your uh, opinion on it your take you know, once you've seen it, because, you know, a lot of it is. Uh, is stuff that I can't that can't really be explained and you shouldn't be taking my word for it anyway, obviously. Um, but yeah, I can I'll send you like the link in DMs and you can watch it at your leisure, obviously. Yeah, sure. Um, cool. I mean, like I say, I think that, that it's fine to have concerns and, you know, I think it's Criticizing yeah. a uh, public figure over decisions that they make about content, I think that that's acceptable. I think my concern with this, and this is you know one of the reasons this this thing tonight with me and Mister Gunnar Destiny's come about, I think that my concern is that there's a very high temperature that exists in some spaces where we go from having a, so a sober discussion to of what is the, the results of this, etc., to oh, Destiny's just a Nazi. You know, and stuff like that. And I no, think that it, it, no, you know, I don't know you're not doing do that. that. But I think that there's this issue online that exists where we have this kind of, you know, really sort of extreme takes on it. And it just leads to people being a bit sort of like, you know, um, averse to a criticism or averse to a discussion. So, you know, we'll see what I happens totally tonight. Hopefully it's going to be an interesting chat. But, you know, I, I, by, I, the, I, by the I, same I, token, sorry to jump in there. Um, by the same token, um, 
one thing I see happen quite a bit is when people will criticize um, some types of public interactions that can have these uh, downstream effects of uh, giving an advantage to certain actors who really, really shouldn't, um, oftentimes in, in this case by the uh, by the avowal of the person who is even uh, engaging in the event. Um, people will characterize criticism as simply equating the person doing it with being a Nazi, and then the whole criticism is just disregarded on those grounds. I think that's a mistake as well. Okay. Um, sure. I, I think that one of the main issues is just, you know, if that happens on Twitter, it just, you know, I, I guess oh. I guess it would be interesting to see, like, if there were these people that were so hardline that destiny is X, Y, and Z to talk to him. I mean, you had a, uh, a debate lined up with destiny, I believe, uh, well, I saw I saw a clip to the effect that he just hasn't done the research yet, which is a little bit mind boggling. Given oh, he's played several tens, he's of dodging you. He's dodging you, is he? Uh, we'll we'll see, we'll <laughs> see. But I mean, like pe people are willing to talk to him. Um, I I don't know if necessarily demon mama types are willing to talk to him right now, but people are willing to have like meaningful conversations from a left wing or or just a non right wing perspective. Um, but for whatever reason, we, well, we know what the reason is. It's, it's, it's ultimately just like, oddly enough, a clout thing on, on his end. Um, he's, he's That's preferring conversations with. You don't well, have the well, clout. No. Is that, is that what you say? That's like, he doesn't speculation. What, what is speculation? I mean, like his intentions, like, I don't want to speculate what Den I, I absolutely intentions. do though. So, see, so, uh, I don't know. hang on. I just wanted you to come here so that you could explain. Blame the thesis of Zonia's uh, video. She but, needs I you mean, to her fight for her. Okay. Yeah, That's why. Fight for I, I think President she's Sunday's too much in challenge. Shut up, Zonia. I just wanted someone to explain <laughs> it distinctly because I'm nah, not that person. No, nah, because I'm actually done with this stuff. You can continue drama baiting over stuff. it for months if you want, but I don't. I don't want okay. you to get President Sunday to fight your battles for you because that's cowardly. So you can well, fuck well, off with that. Wait, wait, so, Let's so, stay so, on wait. topic. Okay. No, wait, wait. I just want to ask no, President I Sunday, mean... are you neutral on this subject? Like between the two of these? Which one? Not obviously, you know, I know. <laughs> Maybe not the Destiny one, but more so the Ico Zonia situation. Um, sorry, Ico's here. So, Ico, hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. I just wanted to clarify because what I thought would happen happened. Um, I don't, it's not about uh, you as a person, Destiny. It's the, fuck, sorry. It's the thing itself. I don't know why, I mean, I guess you kind of are lumping me in with the rest of the people that say they're on the left, but I, I don't know what everyone gets up to on Twitter. But my whole point is I want to point out the individual instances that happen without putting moral weight on it so and not within the framing of punishment and i think that people see criticism as i don't know as like oh let's put them on trial should they be around or not i have no problem with people's platforming i don't want anyone to i don't want to tell people how to run their platforms i want to support them in doing whatever is authentic to them um, and I, I just, I don't know. I, I was, uh, emotional because I, you know, of a, of personal stuff in relation to that. And I was, it was upsetting that Nick Fuentes was able to get away a little bit with the, um, you know, oh, I don't really hate people because I didn't realize myself, but a lot of people don't actually know Nick Fuentes. They don't know his history. Like, it's a lot longer ago than it feels like, or at least in, I don't know. Did anything make sense? I don't know. It was like the most non-committal, like, series of statements I've ever heard in my entire life. I okay. What was even I mean, of. honestly, <laughs> okay, this is okay, my problem. Listen, listen my I problem? Can let me help you, okay? okay? Okay. I can help you really drill down into detail here, because it seemed like your, your concerns or criticisms when we spoke earlier mm -hmm. was that um, in the course of this stream... There were some moments where you felt that Destiny didn't sufficiently push back on what Nick Fuentes was saying, right? Yes, okay. that's that's what I felt so like. Maybe maybe we and can I, focus on those moments. I mean, it is what it is. I'm just observing it, and honestly, 
I just want I'm I just want things to not I'm sorry. I guess it just the only thing, the only reason why I'm here is because I get really fucking annoyed being essentialized um by people that take clips and go and and make it personal when I really specifically don't want to talk about people's hearts and minds or their motivations um and I think everything gets grouped into people who hate destiny or love destiny or whatever I don't give a fuck about any of this shit like what I, about me I, um I have no problem with people who are like chill with you either um but you've done multiple yeah. streams complaining about me right saying bad things oh though. yeah because of okay. okay would you like me to just say what um one of the things was when you uh when you told stardust that the tinder date story uh when you yeah. had the first interview with her i mm. felt like you did a bit of verbal sleight of hand that gave people the impression that you gave nuance when you didn't there was no nuance okay. involved in in the words that you said okay do you see my problem with you having basically the same reaction to me telling a Tinder date story in which I may or may not have done something rapey? Well, by your as, description, as, as you, it was. As you had, and you you said that as well. You're gonna do it right now. You're gonna spend okay. Sorry, half of I'm this. sorry. You're no, did you get what I'm saying? I'm like, do you do do I'll do do I deserve the same emotional response? as what you are saying is a literal Nazi is not getting the right pushback from a gigantic political No, I'm on, I'm on your side with with this, I think. I right? know, but do you see do you see why it feels like you've cried wolf a little bit and now it's like It's not like, personal. I stand by everything that I I'm, said about you. That's fine. You can stand by it. I'm just saying, do you see how it undermines your ability later to say like, "Hey, I think this is inappropriate." If you've been saying that about Every single thing in the same way with the oh, same amount of emotion. No, you don't think I mean, you've undermined I, your I ability to call out that behavior now. Be familiar. I don't expect uh, both of you to be familiar with the way that I operate, but I try to be clear on my own stream. This this situation right here, it's not my uh, skill set. This is not how I'm not good. I'm not good at engaging in this way. But okay, um, I I try to withhold my I, I I don't know. I try to engage proportionally, and though I am a very emotional person, I try to separate that from uh, what I'm pointing out. Does that make sense at all? It it does, but I think that in the eyes of the audience, um, it gets lumped together, and your oh. emotionality, while you are having an individual emotional experience, that I am. Um, I'm having an emotional reaction to your emotions too, but I can see my chat is just like you, lumping you in with every other liberal who's going to complain yeah. about anything. Yeah, that's what that's why I wanted to come on and just say that because I know that's what happens and I know that's what was going to happen with Destiny and I've uh you know, I I just I just I Just hate, to be clear, I people were this. telling me that like you had a mod that was literally calling me nonstop like a Nazi in your chat. Like, did that happen? When? Okay. If I pull out a log, will you admit I... it? Or <laughs> I, I mean, don't know. I'm like... sure. Not. I'm just curious because people in my chat. I don't dig for logs. Anymore. Maybe they didn't. But I mean, I I have a no shit talking policy, as, especially when it comes to big streamers like you, Vosh, Asan, except for Mike from PA and Bad Bunny. Those are the only people. But because I don't want it to become an argument about like teams or what GG you, you follow. So I, I okay. don't have debating in my chat either. This is, you know, okay. I'm interested in it, but that's not my thing. So, okay. but yeah, I just wanted to make it clear. I know people don't have to believe me, but this is honest. I'm 37 years old. I'm, this isn't personal. Um, like things are personal to me, but I, it's not a, about, you as a human destiny i don't know you obviously and i'm not making judgments of your character i was uh, upset about some of the things that slipped by but i'm not saying that you shouldn't have done that it's just my reaction to 
seeing it happen. That's that's it. And you don't have to really, I mean, you don't have to do anything. Okay, like hold on. Okay, uh -huh. you talk so much and say so little, but just okay. that when, when you say that, mm -hmm. it's just my reaction. That's not true. It's not a reaction. It is a public reaction that you want everybody to see. And it's a reaction showcasing one of the most negative responses somebody can have to something. I'm just crying. So you're clearly trying to communicate some point that something I'm doing is very wrong and shouldn't be happening. That is the point of publicly displaying mm. tears over a thing. Do you not understand no. that? No. Okay. I cry quite often. It's, it's, I'm, I'm a bit of, in a medication mess right now. So I'm emotional, but I try to repeatedly take it away from you as a person. And it's hard for people to not get hyper-focused on the individual and how they feel about them as a whole. I don't know what that means, but... Like, you... I mean, I, the only thing I care about is like how things impact potentially in the future. And we don't know what, how anything is going to play out. And I'm not saying that what you did was specifically like going to lead to harm it's just i see potentials and it's um i'm not i don't know how to really express this in a way where it's like fuck i just ex like like i can be um upset about the thing but also not put it on you just like i'm not putting shit on mr girl i don't care like i have my opinions and feelings on things but i just it, it's not it's not particular to to the person i don't i don't really know how to express what i'm trying to say i guess um guide us chum yeah i don't know yeah, I mean, listen. If if that, if you feel you kind of got out what you wanted to say, then yeah. we can probably probably end it there in terms of you coming on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, basically, I mean what I say, and I know people make it about uh, get distracted uh, by me, and also kind of essentialize things to people who are pro or anti Destiny or Mister Girl or whoever is the topic at the moment, and uh, it's going to keep going. But I thought I'd just throw that out there. So thanks for listening. No worries, Ico. Thanks very much for okay. coming on. See ya. See ya. Can you summarize that real quick for me, Chad? Well, um, I think the problem I've got with I got first of all, no, I can't. Um, the second thing is, <laughs> why are you laughing? It's just criticizing what internet. you do, not you as a person. I don't really believe her, but I think that's what she's saying. I mean, yeah, I just, I just think that. Um, yeah, uh -huh. anyway, let's look. At the end of the day, okay. I thought there were some critiques I could make that maybe yeah. she was going to bring into the call. It didn't happen. That's fine. Uh -huh. Let's just move on. Okay. Go back to what we were talking about. <laughs>